Welcome to a very, very quick video on QTVLM, just setting it up and getting it working for you. Um, I will do additional videos on this uh, as time permits, but this is just a very, very basic introduction. So go and download it from this site here. It will be in the description, or you can just Google it very, very quickly. Install it, and when you open it the first time, you, or every time actually, you get this info screen. I fully recommend that you go and get the full documentation in English. Uh, I haven't read it all, but I've read enough of it to do the basic functionality. So close that. We'll have uh, you won't have these uh, points of interest marked, but you will have your boat in on the screen somewhere. Uh, I you can use this to um, start your your routing method if you want, but I use uh, what's called points of interest to uh, enable me to use my boat as a an a additional marker that I want to use it for. It's, it's up to you what you want to do. So the first thing is is that uh, you can import maps and uh, landscapes and all different types of things, but I'm not interested in doing that functionality at the moment. What I'm interested in is getting you set up as quickly as possible. So what you need to do first of all is go up to the selection map, click on that, and basically uh, pull out a, an area, and that will be the area that uh, you will be selecting as your grib zone. Uh, I don't go into all of the different gribs here, I'm just showing you how to do the simple one. I might make this all the way over to Hong Kong. Whoops. So once again, select it, and push it there, and push it to around where our boat is. And that's the, the zone or the area that I'm going to use. I can make it bigger or smaller if I want to. But once I do that, I then come down to a grib sail docks and click on it. These uh, functions here, G GFS, 25, uh, you can change how many days you want. It's going to take us more than 16 days to probably get there anyway, so that's fine. All the rest I, I leave blank, <coughs> and then I just hit send mail. This will uh, take you to uh, your email. If you don't have one, or if you don't have uh, Windows 10, you can still get these uh, these settings anyway. Basically, what this is here is, is drawing the boundary and giving you the thing. I take out the last bit. If I if I leave that last bit in there, it doesn't uh, doesn't come back. You need to have it formatted so that there's no additional information in there. So I hit send on that, and uh, this comes into my junk mail. So in your in your inbox, you'll have this file here. I'm just going to save that. I've set up a little folder on my D drive here for Gribs and just hit save. I think that's okay. Yeah, it's already saved. So I'll close my email and now we have these things here. You won't have them, so I'm going to uh, delete them now. And I'll delete this one as well, because on your map you'll have nothing. And what you do is uh, you set up some markers. So I'm going to create a new mark here. Or I can move the boat here if I want to, but as I say, I use uh, what are called POIs, which are points of interest. And I can change this name to MH. And I can change my latitude and longitude, which... Uh, I can do just by looking at my position here. I'm not going to bother with that too much right now. Oh, we might as well make it oh, 31. 31. Okay, that's close enough for now. Obviously, you can can come down into the smaller 155.4. Just use your cursor here if you want to, or you can put it in. Uh, it's a little bit off, so... Uh, okay, 
so you can get as exact as you want to if you want want to do that and then I'm going to come over to uh, Hong Kong over here which I believe is down here and I'm just going to make a new mark here I'll just call it endpoint okay so I have my two points of interest and then I need to do a couple of other things. First of all, in your boat settings, go to boat settings, and this is not the right boat name. It's my other boat, and I use the uh, boat class 40C SV. Now, in another tutorial, I'll show you how to uh, change your settings here in terms of having a, a proper um, boat file or a polar file. Um, but we'll just use this because it's easy. Efficiency upwind and efficiency downwind. Well, um, the default is not particularly accurate. I also find that uh, I need to do a little bit more testing on this, but I find around about 104% is, is reasonable. Uh, as the day progresses, you'll be able to see uh, the marker move and be able to uh, compare that to where your actual boat position is and adjust the uh, efficiency upwind and downwind to do that. But as I said, that's it's more of an advanced topic when we get into uh, better polars in the future. Um, we won't do anything more than that at the moment. And click OK. Oh, I probably should say as well that uh, you can also talk about your best wind angles for upwind and downwind. Uh, I don't use this at the moment. Um, but it's probably worth looking at as you become better at QTVLM. All right, so the grib. So what we know is we open up our grib, which was the top one here, and you'll notice it all comes in. And what we do then is go to our routings and create one. I can change the name here, uh, test. And we're going to change from, we're going to go from uh, MH to end. If I was going from my my actual boat, which is this icon here, I would change it routing from boat. Um, there are a lot of advanced options here, and once again, uh, we can look at this in the future. But as for now, I'm just going to click OK. Probably should have, should have changed the color as well. change this color because it's uh, not very good. Yeah, we'll set that to red. There we go. So here is our, our routing path right now. Uh, word of caution, uh, groups change every six hours obviously and uh, I find that different in the last couple of days anyway we've been uh, having routes through here, routes through here, routes through here. So it's really just a guide and in turbulent water such as we have around Papua New Guinea and the Solomon Islands uh, you really have to take a best guess and I ignore QTVLM on occasions just because uh, it doesn't seem right to me. And also the data in game is uh, is often not exactly the same as, as the grip. So take it with a grain of salt, but it is, uh, is something worth looking at. Uh, as for us, uh, I use this you know once or twice a day just to have a quick look and then change it. The last thing I want to show you just before uh, I leave this quick tutorial is um, this is about an hour later and uh, you can see that our icon has moved. As time progresses uh, the boat icon, this little red circle here, will move along the path as to where you should be and that's a good way of then uh, checking on uh, your boat settings uh, but also seeing where you should be uh, according to this grip. 
you can always come back to that. I can go back in time to before now and uh, if I let it run I can change the settings here I'm just going to leave it on one and then click reckoning and it will move along and the gribs uh, or the grib data will move as well I'll just change this back down to 30 minutes because it's moving too quickly and you can see you know, time passes as the boat moves along back to where we should be oh yeah and the other thing that I should quickly talk about is if you mouse over this line or even if you want to uh, show or append the poise the points of interest you can I'm going to just show the intermediate points here uh, I can come up to each of these points or anywhere on that line and it will give me all of the information that I need the cog the TWD AWA the SOG the TWS and uh, how long uh, from from now it will be uh, I don't know why that's saying 13 days. Oh, that's the whole route. Sorry, but if you look down in the uh, under the ETA here, that's about eight hours later. So I'm expected to be at this point of interest about eight hours, eight minutes later, if I keep to this cog and so. On. So uh, that's it for now.